Episode 9 is going to be crazy. Kylo Ren will be the primary villain and will be trying to establish himself and the First Order as the dominant force within the galaxy. He will be trying to crush the Resistance once and for all. On the other side of that coin will be Poe, Dameron, Rey, and our heroes trying to bring hope back to the galaxy and defeat the First Order order the question becomes how will this all play out will kylo ren be able to defeat ray and the resistance despite his feelings for her and will ray be able to redeem kylo and bring him back to the light i mean this is the way it's going down they're gonna clash and the big question becomes will kylo be redeemed by ray well let's Talk about it. Bam, 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 bam. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love Star Wars like I love Star Wars, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. By the way, shameless plug, every Sunday is now going to be Star Wars Day here on the Den of Nerds. Have a weekly show that I'm doing called Nerds Talk Star Wars. That's a more in-depth show, kind of like a podcast type thing. So that's something you can listen to maybe like on your commute or when you've got some time. Very, very cool going into long form stuff there. But I'm also going to drop bonus videos every Sunday as well. So for a lot of Star Wars videos from the Den of Nerds, subscribe and come back every Sunday. Real quickly, I want to shout out JT Bailey, who got the nerd card question correct in my latest Dragon Ball Super video. JT Bailey, you definitely know your stuff when it comes to Dragon Ball, so shout out to you, man. There will be another nerd card question at the end of this video. All right, guys, let's get into this thing, man. Ray and Kylo Ren, man. How is this going to play out? Is the Ray Low connection, which I am convinced is romantic and also end game for Disney, is that connection going to be the thing that saves the entire galaxy? Well, let's talk about where I think these two are going to be at the beginning of episode nine. Kylo Ren is going to be trying to establish the First Order as the new empire i think he wants to rule he wants total control and he will use absolute brutality to bring the order he thinks the galaxy needs and he'll be obviously tapping into the dark side a lot of people pointed out that he is starting to really show signs of that dark side degradation by the end of the last jedi his scar is splitting back open his snarl is there and the more you tap into the dark side the more you're body degradates and just gets ugly i mean look at emperor palpatine he's a good example of that now on the other side of that you're gonna have ray and the resistance and i believe that who ray is and how powerful she is is going to be sort of a calling card of hope for the people in the galaxy that don't want to deal with the oppression of kylo ren's empire i literally think that she and Poe Dameron are going to go around to planets and she will showcase her strength. It will be a signal of hope. People will choose to believe in her and the legacy that Luke Skywalker passed down to her. And this will be the catalyst for a lot of people teaming up to take down Kylo Ren. At the end of the day though, I don't know if that's gonna be enough of a military force to stand up to the might of the First Order and to stand up to the power of Kylo Ren. I think redemption is probably the only way and that's why the Rey and Kylo connection and their feelings for each other is going to play such an integral role in episode 9. Now I want to go over the question of Kylo's redemption and a lot of people think he's gone way too far. He's way too dark side. He's not going to be able to come back and I want to sort of talk about just thematic mythic storytelling. This is something I really talk about a lot when I go into Star Wars. And I think the thing we have to understand here is that it's unlike a postmodern story, right? The morality of this thing isn't like super relatable. In a lot of ways, it's just representative of themes and struggles going on inside every human heart. And so the story itself is playing out in a way to teach us lessons. So if we were really in the Star Wars universe, if like you were breathing that air and looking at twin suns, you might say this dude's gone 
stretched way too far and you might be right. But look at the example of Vader. I mean, this is a guy who literally went into the Jedi Temple, slaughtered a bunch of younglings, kind of killed his wife, literally went around the galaxy snuffing out the last of the Jedi, embracing hate and helping Palpatine's empire to rise to prominence and gain complete control over the galaxy. Really terrible dude. And he was literally redeemed by his son. That is what the first three movies, maybe even arguably the first six movies are about. And the thing is, it doesn't undo all of the things that Vader did, but in one moment, he decides to hold on to sentiment and choose the right thing, killing the Emperor, eliminating the Sith, fulfilling the prophecy, and setting the galaxy on a better course. And so I do not think that Kylo is just going to snap out of it, give up on everything that he believes in, and become a really good dude. But I do think it's possible that when the moment is there, when it is time that he could make a decision that will change his arc. That is the redemption that he's looking for. I think this will come in the form of the opportunity that he will have to snuff out light completely. And if he has that opportunity and chooses not to do it, that might be all he needs to do to have a redemption. I also think it's possible that some kind of a greater evil or perhaps a greater purpose will surface in episode 9 and if he embraces that, that could be another way for him to be redeemed. Now, I've talked a lot about how Kylo is on a reverse Anakin journey. He is feeling the pull to the light and his feelings with regards to Rey are going to play a huge role in his overall arc. I think there's a difference between, like I said, him totally changing as a character and him making one change that sets the course of the galaxy on like a better route. So I do agree that it would be a little bit ridiculous for him to just be like, okay, you know what? I totally embrace the light side. Let's do this Jedi for life. Sorry about all that bad stuff I did. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it's going to go down. Instead, it's possible that he sees and understands that the balancing of the force is way bigger than his current worldly goals. He has to understand the impact of what his and Ray's connection means and that it is much much bigger than the legacy he is seeking by establishing the First Order as the predominant ruling force. He wants this order. He's tied up into the idea of his ego and his own legacy. But if Rey truly embodies the light, shows compassion, forgiveness, and thoughtfulness, and also allows him to understand that there is something beyond what he's seeking that is more valuable and this is the thing that he was truly born to do and I think that they're going to do it together and I think that's a really really important part of this story now I want to talk quickly here about how JJ said he wants to bring all of the sagas together in episode 9. Now, I really believe this has a lot to do with the creation of Vader. I think in episode 9, we will get something about Vader's creation and how it was sort of a wound in the force. This whole craziness that we've been going on with the light and the dark, one snuffing out the other and then rising back up to power, this continuous cycle and war is just this thing that has been like a fissure in the galaxy. And I truly believe this might all have to do with the creation of Vader. So if something is presented to both Rey and Kylo, and instead of them like not fulfilling their goals, like with the Resistance or the First Order, but instead seeing a different alternative, much like in the Mortis episodes with the brother and the sister and the father, if they see a scenario where they could literally leave the galaxy, let the war continue, but that they have to go fix the force together, that might be a big enough idea with enough of a draw to allow them both to let go of the current path and identity that they are on and go see the balance of the force together. 
let's talk about the final conflict between Kylo Ren and Rey. And make no mistake about it, it is going to head this way in Episode 9. Now, Rey is incredibly gifted with the Force, very, very strong, but also incredibly compassionate. And I think that the way this is going to go down is that she will probably have the ability to maybe stop him and defeat him, but she will choose not to and choose to instead appeal to his feelings, to his heart, to the Ben Solo that is still within Kylo Ren. I think Kylo is going to amass an amazing amount of power in between episode 8 and episode 9. I think he's going to have an empire set up, a legacy set up, the opportunity to snuff out the light once and for all. And I think Rey will appeal to the side of Kylo that knows that that's not the right way, that knows that this would be just repeating the mistakes of his family from the past. And if she does that, if she appeals to him, then it is possible that he will turn, lay down his arms, and they will figure out a way to do this thing together. Now, I've said before, I think this might end tragically for Ben Solo, because I think that upon this realization, he may have to make some kind of a sacrifice to save Rey and to save the galaxy. And so just like what happened with Vader, he might have to make a decision which will impact the galaxy greatly but he will have to lose his life in the process. Now, I did the Raylo Babies video before because I really don't think this is the end of the Skywalker line, but I think that Kylo will have a similar path to Vader, which is super ironic because he idolizes his grandfather so much, but Either way, I hope that this conflict shows all kinds of force powers, an incredible lightsaber duel, and a lot of drama which will be infused because they have such strong feelings for each other. But those are just some of my thoughts on how Rey might be able to redeem Kylo Ren, some evidence from past Star Wars films, and also some ideas from the mythic storytelling that Star Wars tends to take. But let me know what you think about all of this. Do you think Rey will be able to redeem Ben Solo? Do you think Ben Solo will lose his life in that process? Or is it possible that they both walk away from the comings and goings of the galaxy and sort of of take their place in a mortis like situation where they are truly trying to heal the wound that is the force. I think there's something going on here with the yin and the yang and the idea of them balancing the force together. There's a lot of questions, but that makes it exciting. So we don't know exactly what we're going to get. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, let's check that nerd card really quickly. I want to know how old was Master Yoda when he died in Return of the Jedi? I'll give you a hint. He was no spring chicken. How old was Master Yoda when he died? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.